What's up everyone? Um, it's one of the nicer days. It's like 60 degrees out. A little cloudy, but um, I'm still a little sick if you can't already tell. A little bit congested. Nose is still running a hair, but I'm in a different spot here uh, now. Um, I'm at an area where I believe I first encountered or at least heard a potential Bigfoot. Now, um, I'm sure a lot of you know or at least heard of Bigfoot, right? You know, it goes by a lot of names. Bigfoot, Yeti, Sasquatch. You know, in China, it's the Yaren. Um, in Australia, it's the Yowie. Uh, down in Florida, it's known as the skunk ape. That's a truck, by the way. If you're hearing that whining, well, no, it's not. It's a, it's a motorbike thing. But anyhow, um, what a lot of people seem to think is, I'm going to wait for this guy to go by here. And he was a haul in it. But, <coughs> you know, a lot of people seem to think that um, just because, oh, I haven't seen it, so it must not be real. I'm telling you right now, that's not always the case. But, I'm going to tell you about what happened to me a couple uh, years ago here. By the way, if you see anything moving behind me, um... Make sure you uh, tell me about it. I uh, kind of learned that from Homesteading Off the Grid. He's one of my favorite YouTubers with, uh, you know, Kevin Lake and Dearly Lake and their son Daniel's on there sometimes too. Great YouTuber. But anyhow, I'm going to tell you about what happened to me a couple years ago. But, so, my mom and some of our extended family and whatever else we went on a trip to uh tennessee uh pigeon forge to be specific my uh it's probably my favorite area down there i'm telling you <laughs> but anyhow we were there for probably a week and when we came back it was probably around five six maybe even seven in the afternoon to tell you the truth i'm not real sure because this happened back in uh, June of 2021. So this happened a little over two years ago now. Yeah, a little over two years ago. But, um, I think it was either that the day we got back or the following day, my mom had went outside just on the porch here. She was doing something. I can't remember if she was watering flowers or just stepped outside for a second. But I can't remember off the top of my head. And uh, I had went with her here. Like I went with her outside. And all of a sudden I heard this unexpected, really loud, almost like something ran through the woods. Something very, very large. Or that something smashed a bunch of trees or something like that. But... The reason being, um, and I thought, what in the world was that? So, you know, being a, wanting to investigate, you know, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's a bad thing, but I grabbed my phone here and I made my way up to this little area here where the, where the yard here meets the woods behind me here. And then over this way, some, like over in there where I'm pointing, over in that area some, I saw, I think it was three very large, abnormally shaped footprints. Now, compared to my foot, it here to here, that's my foot, but this thing was probably my heel to about here. So... I'm about five nine, five ten, so I'm just under six foot. 
so judging by that thing, and I'm, I'm just saying, you know, sort of what if here, but judging by the footprint that I saw, this thing was, was probably over six foot, maybe six foot five, maybe even pushing seven foot. Now, what's weird is, you know, no one has been in this area that I was in for over a week. That's the strange part about it. I mean, yeah, we have neighbors and we have family that lives around this area too, but they don't just randomly show up out of the blue. They usually ask or call first. You know, that's just common courtesy. You know, you don't show up on someone else's property without their consent or without you asking them first. You just don't do that. That's not courteous. But anyhow, I, uh, I, this tree, actually this tree right here, this one, um, I, uh, walked up to it. I had a large, like, branch in my hand. Sorry. But I had a large branch in my hand and I walked up to it and I beat it like three or four different times first. But I'll have to, and I video myself doing this because you know, anytime you see or hear something that's out of the norm or not natural, you at least want to get it on video so you'll have some kind of proof. But I video myself doing it and it didn't sound like a tree knock, tree knock, but it sounded like something took either its hand, a stick, or something, and beat it against something. Like, almost like this sound. But, very much, very louder, but. Then I tried the same knock again to see if I could get another response, and I got nothing, so. Um. You know, and here's the thing. I think it was a Bigfoot or some kind of creature who was intelligent enough to respond to a knock. And I say intelligent enough because, you know, people automatically disclude that we're the top of the race. Yeah, we are pretty smart. Yeah, we do kind of, we are kind of the dominant X factor race, but... There's so much more that we as people don't know. Like, I believe in Bigfoot, okay? Now, am I going to make fun of you because you don't believe in Bigfoot? No, I sure ain't. But I had something happen to me before that made me a believer. Now... Granted, I was a believer before this happened to me. But, you know, sometimes you just need to have that turning point, that 180 turn that makes you go, okay, there, there's something else out here. There's something else in certain woods that either can't be explained or have been explained, but no one believes. But... That's what happened to me. And I think Bigfoot is fact. You know, world champion of hide and seek. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a pretty fitting title, I think. But anyhow, guys, um, if you'd like me to do uh, more Bigfoot content or cryptic creature content, uh, make sure you hit subscribe, like, uh, you know, drop a comment down below what you'd like to see next, and I'll try to make it happen. But um, uh, most of the time, it's my original ideas that end up making that end up uh, as videos. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. But you know, if it's nice where you're at, I encourage you to go outside and enjoy it. Um, uh, today. Like I mentioned, today is Thursday, I believe. <laughs> Last Thursday was Thanksgiving. It was a blast. I'm, I'm telling you what. 
you can't beat family. You just can't. But um, tomorrow it's supposed to be the same type of temperature wise, but we're, apparently it's supposed to rain all day. But anyhow, guys, that's pretty much it. Take care, everyone.